sure there's an animal. It's probably. God. Yeah, I feel like you could, you, they do it so many ways. If you yeah. said it confidently enough, I believe you. <laughs> I mean, that's true of anything. I am the best bullshitter, not because I'm like particularly talented at it, but because I say true things on the internet constantly. Right. And so, and like true and weird things. No, that happens. And so I've you, had conversations with you where you have said things and I'm like, really? And you're like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, damn it. <laughs> I just believe you. I once convinced, gotcha again. <laughs> I once convinced someone that uh, oranges came from whales. No. In oh, what no. way? Like, out they, of what? Like like eggs or something? I didn't I didn't even I wasn't even specific. <laughs> a child? I feel Are you real. To a child? No, it was a college student. Okay. Oh, I feel oh real dear. bad. Don't feel bad. How could they believe that? <laughs> At some point, did you let them know? No, yes, of course. Okay, good. But I felt bad letting them know because I was like, I was sure you were gonna be like, yeah. Well, it could be way worse. Uh, they could no. still be out there they believing this and telling, telling people. Other it started by me telling them that. That, that oranges were the source of herpes, and that it came from the whales originally, the way that diseases come from other animals, and that you have to wash your oranges. <laughs> or you might get cold sores. Which kind of feels a little bit right. Cause like when you got a cold sore and you're like eating citrus, you're like, ow. Who's eating the peel? Sure, but where's the whale? <laughs> well also, yeah, who's eating the outside of the orange? Well, sometimes you're just like, ah, oh, and it's like no. terrible. No, you're not. <laughs> that does not taste good. Those people deserve cold sores then. <laughs> <laughs> I read a book one time. <laughs> I feel like I feel like stopping there and just yeah. being like pretending like. But uh, we know in, 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 which, uh, in which they had like developed the lizard tail thing for people, and this woman gets her hand cut off, and they regrow it. But during the regrowth process, when it's like a little baby nub hand, she discovers that it's like a super turn on for her boyfriend to like suck on it. <laughs> I don't like that. That's weird. Oh, oh, to each their own. To each their own. Wall of the science challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Division amongst the, the ranks here. So did she try to find a way to like stop the growth? Or did she or keep chopping like, it off? <laughs> it's like every six months she's like, new hand! Yeah. I want my arm dick back! <laughs> Suck it! I want my arm dick back. <laughs> but that's what humans would do, we wouldn't like it! <laughs> you know, we have like, oh, we could like yeah. restore severed limbs on really damaged people, or like restore mobility. No, no, like, no, 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 it. hand dick! <laughs> Was this a book you bought at like a gas station? Where did you get this book? No, this is a very, it's like three sentences in this beautiful, wonderful, it's the Mars Trilogy by Kim Stanley Robbins. And I don't think that he sucks on it, I think he just nibbles it. No. That's what it is worse. I've never seen Sari in this state. So is vivid. There, is, there, is there a prime nibbling like size? I imagine oh, just some fingers moment. have to be semi-formed, maybe. Right, because you like, don't have to chop off the whole hand. Just do one finger at a time. You could have like rotating hand Ooh, dicks. Oh, that's that's weirder to me because then you just have like no like four normal sized fingers and then one tiny one, and yeah. that's the nibbling one. <laughs> These I other, I don't care about these other fingers. That little one, <laughs> let me at it. We were gonna go here. <laughs> you did this to us. I did, I feel bad, because now I have to do my thing. Yeah, now it's like, smoothly like transition. It's like, yeah, it's nothing to do with any of this. <laughs> and, hey. And, the, my, and we finished the episode with, <laughs> what animals could you throw out of a plane? Any of them that Birds, I can lift. I assume. Birds? <laughs> well, I mean, you can throw any animal. Are you asking, like, yeah. what animals would survive? What animals would there survive? Oh! <laughs> it's like, I could lift most animals. <laughs> Yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah, there are there are some animals you can't lift, but the vast majority you can. Does say. it matter how high the plane is flying? N no. Just like speed, and it has to be moving. I'm assuming because you could throw a cat out of a stopped plane at an airport, and it would just on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the plane in the sky. I do like Sylvia's thinking here. Just at the gate, just big question. <laughs> I know my cat I would survive. I could throw myself out of a plane if it's right. on the ground. Yeah. So yeah. this is this is from a, a 1920s essay about the size of animals and why different animals are different sizes. And it's called On Being the Right Size by J.B.S. Haldane. To the mouse and any smaller animal, it presents practically no dangers. You can drop a mouse down a thousand yard mine shaft and on arriving at the bottom, it gets a slight shock and walks away, provided that the ground is fairly soft. A rat is killed. A man is broken. A horse splashes. <laughs> 
<laughs> See, that actually fits in perfectly with, in my head, this whole time you've been talking about dropping animals, I've been like going through all different animals in my head, and I hit elephant. And you're like, nope, that's was, not gonna be good. It was a messy scene in my brain. It's like singing old McDonald in his head, like, oh no, I, that animal yeah. will make it. Well, yeah, because what was it? A mouse lives, a, a, rat, rat is, a rat is killed. A rat is killed, a man is, a man broken. is broken, horse splatters. Splashes. 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 Splatters is, is almost like not as good as splashes. No, no. No, splashes is it's a like thousand getting times hit better. with a water balloon. Yeah. It's just like hey, those in the front row, please wear your ponchos because you might get wet. This is the grossest fucking Gallagher show you have ever been to. Here's the sledgehammer. Here's the horse. Hey, where's Gallagher? Oh, he's currently in a plane above the stage with a horse. Get ready. Mm. Close your mouth <laughs> and your eyes. Yeah. Put your, and your nose. You don't want to drink horse. Put your phones away. You don't want to drink horse. We hope you enjoyed this snippet of holy fucking science. If you would like more, you can see the full episode at YouTube. Dot com slash holy fucking science. That's right. Holy fucking science is a podcast about science that is not for children. It contains mild violence, swearing, alcohol consumption, and sometimes the science isn't super vetted, so don't share it in the classroom. For more holy fucking science, we are on YouTube, SoundCloud, iTunes, and Google Play Music, also other places where you might be able to find podcasts. Thank you for watching. <laughs>